Welcome back to Tech of Things, your host Mario. We are here with an unboxing, or a quick unboxing, of the new hype that everybody's going over, and it is the AirPods Pro 2. And um, this is my quick unboxing of it. The reason why I was interested in this is because of the hype around the sound quality. And as you know, um, Apple has not been a big fan of sound quality um, for a while. They've been more or less about features, so it hasn't been high on my list. Um, I don't think that this will change it, but I wanted to put it through its pace and test it just in case it did. Um, I'm sure you guys have already seen the pamphlets from everybody else's um, unboxings. And, um, nothing really different. I don't even think you get the Apple stickers with this stuff, if you're interested in that. So, on to the star of the show. This is the, um, the Raven, which everybody's talking about, and that is the new MagSafe case um, with the um, lanyard holes uh, for you to attach it to your bag, which is really not that big of a thing. Um, you do have some um, ear tips that are smaller in here. The mediums normally fit me, so I don't really have to open that up. And then you have your USB to C to lightning, uh, which is okay, I guess, if you have one of those USB plugs, which you should, USB-C plugs, which most people do have. So that shouldn't put you out of sorts, uh, so to speak, um, with having that. Uh, let's see. And of course you have AirPods themselves. And what's changed about them is that you have two venting holes now, which is a benefit to me because I need things that vent. And that has been the biggest thing for me uh, to deal with is the lack of venting um, for earphones. Now, one earphone that we're going to compare them to is what we see on, on the table now, and that is the uh, Galaxy 2, I mean, sorry, Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. Um, this is where the size difference will be between these two. And as you can tell, the AirPods are a little bit thinner, uh, as far as flatter, rather, but it's much fatter across. Uh, they're pretty, pretty much, you know, AirPods are smaller in size as far as height uh, and just fatter across the, across the board. Um, whereas this is more of a, a block, more so than a rectangle. That's what you see as far as the difference is. Um, you don't have a button on here to set or pair like you do with the, Air, with the AirPods Pro uh, 2s, um, which would be your pairing button back here. And of course you don't have a lanyard hole um, for this particular earphones. However, there are plenty of other Android headphones that have lanyard holes or lanyards or places that you're going to attach a lanyard to. Uh, another claim to fame that this has is the speaker on the case itself. It's there and it's designed to send out a signal. So if you lose your uh, your AirPods, you know where to find them because they'll be they'll be able to be accessed by the, um, the sound that it makes or emanates when you hit the button on your Apple device. Now this is also um, something you can plug into your Android device as well, uh, like these. Both of them can be plugged into Apple or Android. However, um, you're probably not going to get all of the same features that you get with the um, AirPods Pro for the um, for the Android side of things, uh, some similar to what you have with the Samsung and the Apple. So they're both you know, dynamic entities for the brands that they are for, but yet they both can still be at least utilized for any other brand. I mean, maybe not taken full advantage of, but can be utilized. Um, this, um, off the bat, this also is a 20 foot, 24 bit processing audio device, or this is not. Uh, Apple still has not uh, gone into lossless audio, still have not increased their band, their, their bit rate past 16. And that's, to me, I think is going to be a big difference between the sound quality because I don't think that any other headphone on the market is better than the Samsung Buds 2 Pro right now. And uh, these have just come out, but we will, you know, I'll be glad, glad to see, you know, what the quality of the sound is compared to the, the Samsung's 
uh, for the app for the AirPod 2 uh, Pros. Now another thing I think that these will uh, destroy them in is the noise canceling. The noise canceling ability has always been a really big thing uh, for uh, AirPod Pros users. They get um, great, you know, isolation um, and great uh, ambient sound. And I don't think that these are something that can stand up to them when it comes to noise canceling and the ambient sound. So. Uh, a little bit of give and take there, but we'll see. Final conclusions may surprise me or shock me or confirm what I've already known. We don't know. But other than that, um, that is it. Um, as far as weight goes, uh, this case is a lot lighter than this, but the case heft of the AirPod Pros 2 um, does give a, a firm uh, weight of density, which makes it feel more quality than a matte, than a matte plasticky you know, feel of the case for the Samsung. Me personally, I like the matte finish more than I like glossy. It's just me. Um, both of them are white, um, and that's basically it. Um, so once I do um, some tests, I'll be doing a review and a comparison between the two because I haven't seen many people talk about uh, the differences between the Galaxy Bud 2 Pros and the um, AirPod 2 Pros. Uh, to me, I mean, these are just obvious um, combatants that have this. This fight must be had, basically. So stay tuned, people. We're gonna be we're gonna be putting out a video soon um, on this. So, till next time, taking things out and out.